Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM and once again, this is the one day chart. We're still sitting here just under 12 cents. XLM is so undervalued right now compared to where it's going. And now that the big announcement came and went and most people were discouraged by the announcement we got from Stellar, now we can get back on track. I could get back to showing you the potential behind this cryptocurrency. So will Stellar Lumens XLM benefit from Ripple's dispute against the SEC? They're talking about the appeal that's going on right now between Ripple and the SEC. Now, once that's done and over with and that case finally comes to an end, I believe XLM will run with XRP. And that's why I always tell people, you know, if you're holding XRP, you should be holding XLM and vice versa. This way you're double dipping because these cryptocurrencies run together so often. And that's another reason why if XRP hits these high prices that people talk about, XLM is going to hit some very high prices as well. So in 2022, remittances from international migrants reached nearly $650 billion, surpassing development aid and foreign direct investments to low- and middle-income countries. These funds are a lifeline, reducing poverty by providing for essentials like food, health care, and education. They remain stable during hardships, unlike other financial flows. But challenges persist in sending money across borders. You know, this is a real-world use case being utilized all throughout the world right now. And again, this shows you the utility behind XLM. A significant hurdle is the cost, currency conversions, exchange controls, and outdated systems inflate expenses. Commercial banks often charge fees above 8% for remittances to Africa, for example. Reducing this cost is feasible and could save over $30 billion annually. Mobile phone tech is a game changer, offering efficiency, cashless transactions, and secure transfers. It simplifies ID verification, ensuring compliance with regulations. You know, mobile phones are becoming people's checking and savings accounts all around the world. Banking the unbanked, leveling the playing field. But currency conversion fees averaging around 3 to 5% remain high and are exaggerated when dealing with multiple currencies. Overregulation can deter banks from working with money transmitters. Rethinking our approach is essential. Blockchain and cryptocurrency could reduce foreign exchange costs significantly, but challenges persist, including global acceptance and regulatory frameworks. Investment and smart regulation are crucial. You know, people in the crypto space always say, we don't need regulations. Let's keep it like the wild, wild west. Well, you cannot have mass adoption without regulations. Financial institutions, enterprise, will never want to get involved with crypto in re unless we have regulations first. And I think Stellar is already ahead of the curve when it comes to regulations. I don't think we'll have any issues in the future. As migration continues, remittances will grow, ensuring this vital lifeline remains accessible and affordable is essential. Like I said, real world use case happening right now around xlm best believe the stellar wolf pack is growing day by day i've been buying xrp for six years now since about early april this year i've been stacking nothing but xlm lately i can clearly see how valuable the stellar org network will be in the new global financial system this is the greatest opportunity of several generations. And remember this, this cover of The Economist? 
all the way back in 1988. And a lot of people bought their XLM because of this. Back when people were still talking that XLM is going to become a world's reserve currency. But for some reason, along the way, that shifted. Now only people could see XRP being a world's reserve currency. You know, people need to understand that XLM is not much different than XRP. Just two different use cases. And, you know, when you think about person-to-person -person payments, that's massive because it's not just person-to-person. -person. It's person-to-government, person-to-bill pay, micropayments. They're all going to be happening on a daily basis around XLM. Then there was this. Remittance tokens are considered stable coins. Based on the search results, a remittance token can be considered a stable coin. Remittance tokens are digital tokens that are used to facilitate cross-border payments and remittances. These tokens can be paid to a fiat currency or a basket of currencies to maintain a stable value. Stable coins, on the other hand, are cryptocurrencies that are designed to maintain a stable value by being pegged to a fiat currency or a commodity. I always pictured XLM being a high-value stable coin of the future, being utilized inside that new financial system. Can Stellar Lumens reach $10,000 or $1,000? XLM Price Prediction 2023 to 2030. So let's first look at what XLM is. XLM serves as a bridge currency for cross-border payments, paying transaction fees, and creating digital assets within the Stellar network. XLM acts as an intermediary between any newly created digital asset and any other digital asset on the Stellar network using the decentralized exchange function built into the Stellar blockchain. So we know it's going to work like a world's bridge currency. So not much different than XRP. And if XRP, it, say I was to say XRP is going to hit $10,000, some people could believe that. Some people could see that happening. It's not that far-fetched. But if you said XLM is going to hit $10,000, right away people are like, ah, I'm not quite seeing it. I don't think XLM has the value of XRP. So let's put it like this. If XRP was to hit $10,000, then XLM will surpass $1,000. And I could see that playing out in the future inside that new financial system. XLM ISO 222 ING Timeline. So we see fully, fully readiness to receive and send messages in the MX format. According to SWIFT statistics, over 80% of the banks plan to use the ISO format by November 2023. I think that's when we're going to get our first look at how much value is going to come from ISO. We have not got any value from that yet. That is still to come as well. Then there's this, Stellar for CBDCs. So a growing number of central banks around the world are exploring the possibility of central bank digital currencies. And the COVID pandemic has only accelerated the situation, with lawmakers and regulators even more willing to consider new technologies that can improve the lives of their citizens. Whether focused on increased competition in financial services, greater ease of dis distributing social benefit payments, or bringing safety and security to the unbanked. Central banks are imagining the promise and possibilities of CBDCs. Now we know almost every country is ready to go live with one of these in the very near future. And again, that will add value to XLM. And XLM is also going to be tied to CBDCs around the world, much like XRP. Like I said, the value is there if you pay attention. Tokenization has emerged as a pivotal concept in the digital era, revolutionizing the way we view and manage assets. Tokenization is going to be the next big thing inside of crypto. And once again, Stellar and XLM is tied to that as well. And I think Stellar is going to capture a good percentage of that, also adding value to XLM. 
Once the lending and borrowing is completed on LumenSwap, the idea to mint a stablecoin with XLM as collateral. This will unlock an entirely new level of growth for LumenSwap's DAO, and I look forward to it creating new liquidity and opportunity on Stellar Network. Remember, there was also a time where people said if you hold XLM, you could become your own bank. You could borrow against your crypto or lend your crypto out and get passive income from it as well. And that's still coming in the future. We're so early into these cryptocurrencies, we're watching everything that we ever thought at one time was a conspiracy theory, little by little, starting to become fact. And we're almost there with the new financial system. You could see it coming now. You know, a couple years ago, it was like, well, maybe CBDCs will come at some point. But how far away are they? Are we talking 2040, 2050? No. Now we're talking 2023. And all these countries, most of them are in the pilot phase. Some of them are ready to go live right away. IBM is hiring for Stellar Blockchain Powered World Wire. And remember when people tried to convince you that IBM and that Stellar partnership is done and over with? I believe that partnership is still alive and well today. IBM, the U.S. provider of hardware, software, and cloud-based services, is hiring a proposal manager for its blockchain financial service solution division to work with the Stellar Ledger. It is intended to support customers with blockchain financial services who make cross-border payments. Stellar Blockchain Ledger is a record system for financial transactions on the World Wire Network. I still believe that partnership is alive and well today. And I think that's all part of the new financial system as well. And yet, somehow, people have lost that vision for Stellar, but they still maintain that same vision for XRP. You gotta be holding both of these cryptocurrencies. XLM has the same potential behind it. And it's not hard to see. I mean, you already see XLM's utility being utilized right now all around the world, opening up new on-off ramps almost on a daily basis. Just keep staying positive and staying patient. This is all getting built out in the background. Till then, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.